We can tell you how using playlists properly can be a game changer for your YouTube channel, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, I'm here with Andrew Can from the YouTube channel Andrew Can. He also works at TubeBuddy. Andrew? Great to be back. Yeah, yeah. great to have you back. Um, it's just fantastic again to see you again in person. Yes. So Andrew is YouTube certified. He has a ton of experience with growing channels here on YouTube. And Andrew, let's talk about the, the importance of using playlists. Why would you recommend that people use a uh, playlist and how would you recommend that they do that? So the power of the playlist is this. A lot of people want to watch content in quick succession, but a lot of creators aren't doing that. Yeah. So a lot of times I want to binge content. Let's look at Netflix. Let's look at how they do it. It's easy to binge content. So why not make your YouTube channel easily bingeable? So what I'm talking about is making a playlist of content. And what I've found to work not on all across the board on most channels is whatever your channel name is and then your upload schedule. So like we can put Nick Nimmin uploads because people are typing in your name. And the YouTube default playlist for this, so uploads, is not searchable. Mm. But if you create a playlist called Nick Nimmin Uploads, then it can become searchable. You can optimize its description, its title, and then it can show up in search results. So if I'm looking up Nick Nimmin content, well then I see the playlist with a lot of videos. And that gets me into my playlist, which will encourage watch session, which YouTube cares about. So all of a sudden, I went from not only finding your channel, I'm binge watching your mm. channel. I'm easily accessing a lot of your content that you are putting out and I can watch it in my ease. Again, people want ease of convenience. That's yeah. what we're seeing. Yeah. And, and and with that, with with playlists, because you know, of course putting that stuff into a playlist is, is important. But but what can you do to a playlist to kind of give it some some extra punch, some extra power. How can how can you structure a playlist to, to really give it some juice? Well, a lot of times people just put a bunch of videos in a playlist and while that can work, what you really wanna do is just as you would structure your channel and your videos, you wanna make playlists with a purpose. A lot of times mm. people just create a playlist. So creating a playlist with a specific purpose. So if you're a carpentry channel and you're trying to teach people how to redo their carpeting, you're not gonna just put one playlist about carpentry, then another playlist about how to build a roof. You wanna keep right. it consistent. So consistency is key here. Then if you're doing going back to that carpentry example, you can type how to install fur carpeting, how to do multiple levels of carpeting all in one playlist because if they're looking for different types of carpeting and having that option to see them all there, then immediately you've given them multiple different resources for them to choose what they want to watch. Again, you always want to give your viewer the power of choice. They're choosing to watch you, so respect that choice mm. and give it, make it easy for them. So when it comes to a channel page, a lot of questions that I get is, you know, like, what playlist should I put on my channel page? What are your recommendations for that? So YouTube gives you analytics on playlists. Look at which playlist is turning the most watch time, the most viewers, and the most subscribers. The thing is, is a lot of times people go and add playlists, but they don't have an order. YouTube gives or you Or a this. purpose. Yes. Yeah. And again, I want you to have purposeful playlists. That's gonna be your takeaway from this video. Make playlists with purpose. And most of the times people are wondering what playlist works the best for me. YouTube gives it to you in the analytics. All you have to do is go to playlist section. And then you can see there which playlist is turning the most viewers, which playlist is turning the most subscribers. So what that's showing you is that playlist, whichever it is, is ranking the best, is the one that you should put forward. I also always kind of recommend putting your uploads first yeah. to show that you're active. The last thing you want to see is that a creator uploaded six years ago. What does right. that show you? Yeah, a lot of people will put um, a common thing that I see, like when I'm doing uh, channel reviews on my uh, live stream every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern, is that um, uh, a lot of people will put their popular uploads as the as the top playlist. But in a lot of cases, you know, their most popular upload is something they made two years ago, a year ago, three years ago, and that series of videos is all dated content. So I understand the idea of you know, well, people like these, or for whatever reason, the algorithm pushed these out to more people or an outside website sent you know traffic to these videos or whatever it happened to be. But what he's saying right here is that it's more important to focus on having that uploads at the top because it lets people know that you're current. Like when you look at a, at a channel on a mobile phone, mm -hmm. right? Especially on, on my iPhone as an example. If I land on a channel page and I start going through the through the videos and then I see that the, the I go through that first big long list that I'm scrolling through and I see that, yeah, these might have a lot of views on them, but they were uploaded a long time ago. It makes me think like, oh, okay, they're, you know, they're, they're not active anymore. So there's no reason to subscribe. But when you're putting up the fresh content or they see that fresh content, not only are you letting them know that you're current, but you're also helping push traffic 
to that new content as well, which can also make that a lot more powerful. Again, it's a playlist with a purpose, and right. every playlist can have a purpose. Yeah. And my main thing in the going on that, yeah. popular uploads can work. And here's similar to how I said you make a playlist of content that you make that says Nick Nimmin uploads. Yeah. You can do the same thing with popular uploads sure. because then you can curate the order. Yeah. Again, that's powerful. And again, you might say, well, what if it's not the most popular? So you can remove videos that may be older that may hurt your channel. So like you said, let's say you have a channel that is 10 years old, which is possible. Yeah. But your most popular video is you milking a cow. Right. And you've changed <laughs> your channel completely. Well, then all of a sudden that cow video kind of seems silly compared to your more serious videos. So you may want to, you know, make your own curated playlist and omit that video. It's no longer topical to your channel. Ah, great, great. And and just to clarify also, like um, like when, when we talk about playlists with a purpose, um, what that means basically is when you're organizing your playlist for a purpose or you're making playlists for a purpose, especially on your channel page, one thing to think about um, in terms of the purpose of, of how you're positioning things is, you know, everybody has different goals for that season or that period of time for their channel. So it's important to think about, okay, well, do I want to have my, my playlist near the top that are converting subscribers the highest because right now I'm trying to grow my channel as fast as possible. Do I want to have the ones that are getting the most views at the top? If you're a, a business or a marketer, you know, are you wanting to put the ones that, that drive people to your email list or to your product, or your website, do you want to put those more, you know, closer to the top? You know, that's what we mean by, by purpose. Absolutely. And my final big tip for playlists is think of them the exact same way a video. You can put descriptions in your playlist, you can also title your playlist and make it a series playlist. Making it a series playlist is letting YouTube know that all of this content is related, which lets it show up in the suggested section of the video watch page, which can then turn your channel to more views and help boost your channel. A lot of people don't know about the series playlist function yeah. it's because hidden. it's very well yeah, it's hidden. hidden. Yeah. But of course, classic YouTube. However, don't let that excuse hold you back from success. Right, right, and, and with that, you know, it's important to also think about um, with playlists as well, you know, there's features inside of your playlist settings. So, you know, one of the things that you need to keep in mind with playlists, do you recommend that they try to make their playlist titles actual titles? Yes, you need to make it a searchable title yeah. because if people are gonna find your playlist, again, YouTube's a search engine, second largest in the world. If your playlist isn't searchable, then what's the point? If you just title your playlist, the best day ever, well guess what? 80 million people will probably have the best day ever. And right? you're misrepresenting because that would be a playlist full of the best day ever. It'd be yes. the best days, right? Yes, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. but that's, there right, you go. Right. But here's the thing, if I call it my best trip to, let's say, Thailand, mm -hmm. right? Well, that's a little more specific, yeah. but let's go even better. Let's go, Andrew Can's recent trip to Thailand. Yeah then that is a specific playlist with a specific purpose to then show people my recent trip to Thailand, which will happen one day, I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you will see that video as well. <laughs> um, and, and, and in terms of the, the video descriptions also, you know, like a lot of people, I can't even count how often I, I'm telling people, you know, hey, you gotta make sure you're using the descriptions because you'll go and you'll see, they'll, you know, maybe they'll have the playlist that are saying, you know, the best days ever, but in terms of like the description, they won't have that mark, they won't have anything put together as a series. It's really important that in addition to playlists that all of the features on YouTube, if you are going to be a content creator, Learn how to use learn how to use the platform. Learn how to use the tools that are that are available to you that are given to you by YouTube, so that you can take advantage of all the stuff. It's all there for a reason, so that you can use it, so that you can get more views, which is going to help you and it's going to help YouTube as well. And subscribe to people like Nick, so you know how to use those things. And subscribe to people like Andrew, so that you can enjoy watching films and other types of videos. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Thank you for sharing your expertise with us today. Of course. If somebody wants to find out more about you, of course, we're going to have links in the description and then cards and in screen and all that stuff, but where else can they find you? Where would you like people to find you first? You can find me at youtube.com slash Andrew K. I also have a gaming channel slash We Can Game. Okay, what kind of games do you play? I play a lot of older games actually because a lot of times people talk about games I wasn't able to experience, so what mm -hmm. I want to do is I want to involve my audience, so I call it We Can Game. I'm Andrew Can, and together, we can game. Nice, nice. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.